Hi, how are you? Everybody, welcome to Canasta with Lindsay One. I am about to broadcast a live game that I have with some friends, as you can see. Uh, we're waiting. This is my friend um, who set up the table. So since I'm not in charge of the table, it's easier for me to chat a little bit. Before we start, I'm going to show you one of my methods. Since I'm chat talking to you, I don't have a chance to actually remember the uh, discards, and especially my left-hand opponent's discards during the course of the play, which is one thing, of course, that's key to Canasta and most games. So I did, on a simple sheet of paper, a little cheat sheet that shows, you know, just the ranks of the cards, and um, these are for the various games we'll play, and I just put little hashtags every time one is discarded. Now, I think that um, doing this on paper is really great for beginner players because you allows you to actually focus. All right, I'm about to go first. Allows you to actually focus on the gameplay and um, right now, so I'm writing and, um, and, and try to remember, it helps you to learn how to remember the discards. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually just gonna hash, write down which ranks of cards have been discarded. But when I'm playing, I'm trying to keep track of these in my mind. But the most important thing is what my left-hand opponent is discarding, so I'll know what's safe when my right-hand opponent melts. It's also kind of important to know what my partner has discarded and a general sense of how many of each rank of cards are in the discard pile. So that was a nine and a six by me. Just, you know, so to know that there's a one, four, one, five, one, six, one, eight, and a nine, one, nine. And then as I start to get more complicated, three fours, four fives. So the way I do it when I'm not writing it down and talking at the same time is in general, I just try to remember how many four fives and sixes. And in my head, I'll, I'll check them off. So in my head, I'll say two, four, three, five, three, sixes. So that was a queen by me an eight by and a six by my left-hand opponent, paying most attention to the cards that this person, my left-hand opponent is discarding and trying to get a visual sense of what cards are actually in their hands. Um, here, 20, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 145. Here I'm sort of ready to meld, and I think now, okay, I'm gonna stop that alarm. That was a reminder of the game. So I think I'm actually gonna meld here. I'm gonna do uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, I wasn't look. I didn't want to wait around to get two aces in order to have a, like a more normal meld. I just decided to go ahead since there were a few fives in the deck and I want to try to get, oh, actually there's two fives in the deck and I have the last five. So nobody's going to throw me a five. And I guess it was a waste of my wild cards on the jacks. If I had an eight, I would be very happy. I'm not too happy discarding aces. However, I believe that my partner who didn't uh, um, have never melded must be holding on to something. Didn't have kings, didn't have jacks, doesn't have eights. Well, what do you know? Where did that eight come from?
Well, what do you know? I guess I was premature in closing the fives. Should have saved those wild cards. Oh, well. A canasta is a canasta, and clean or dirty, pretty much the same thing. So, since my brilliant partner took the deck, I'm going to erase the um, summary of all the cards that were there. I know she has two aces, and that's not going to be good for us. And she has a stack of sevens. I'm hoping that she knows that... Uh, Oh, sorry, that was a really bad move. Clearly, I have to master this talking, or I have to edit out these videos and make sure that I don't do these uh, awful moves again. All right. I forgot I was also playing base of three and people can go out a little more quickly. Um, when playing base of three, you can flop down like a biggie gets a wild card. She would have, she could flop it down. It doesn't necessarily mean that, um, that um, a, in, a, in a normal canasta game that I play, you would have to have uh, five fours down in order to go out. So let's see. All right, next game. Three it is. And now let's try, let me just try to play a little bit more intelligent here. All right, two fours and a five, and my discards were an eight and a nine. And now my left-hand opponent is going to six. So if <clears throat> if it turns out that I'm that I I'm I'm going to hold on to the six and discard it much later on in the game. Now I'm going to try to get rid of some of my high cards that are just a randomly don't need. Um, I don't like to throw my low cards in the beginning. I like to hold on to something that is safe for later on. Plus, 
this hand is going nowhere with one wild card, so I really don't see any real need to hold on to that uh, queen for later on. Uh, I'm, I'd be a long time before I got three queens and another wild card, so it seems to me that all the fives are gone. It seems to me it would be a lot easier to... Uh, um, Oh, well, maybe I was wrong about that. Another six along the way. Oh, I'd still need an extra, another wild card and another triple, which would be four turns, and I've got eight turns left, so I'd have to have very lucky draws along all of those. And an eight by my partner. I can remember what they're just got here. Just a second. And another eight by Viggy. And by me. So now, if I get a card that I need, I'm going to throw the six, which I held on to. Oh, okay. Just in time that I didn't give away the deck with that eight. And Ashri had been dis uh, discarding fives. I don't have any more. I still think the six is relatively safe. And clearly now my jacks are going to be safe. So, um... Let's see how the play progresses. And an ace on. Now, had Gloria held on to some of those fives she had been throwing away early on, she wouldn't be in as much of a pickle now that um, her left, her right hand opponent has melded. The disc, this first very first discard with a nice fresh pack, is always the hardest, and I always try to play defensive for the future so that I will sacrifice my hand sometimes in order to get a, um, a be, have a safe throw at this stage in the game. Now she's not melding with aces. I'm hoping she has one ace or a seven. She'll know that I haven't made a move to meld, that any of those cards would be safe, but you can't predict what she might have in her hand. Let's see. Luckily, whatever she does, I know I'll be able to close these tens. Oops, not a good move. And Biggie loves to take the deck. And there go all the fives. I wish I bet Gloria wishes she had kept one of those fives. There was no reason to get put eight of them in the deck. Meanwhile, this game's getting a little dull, so I'm gonna turn off my camera. Oh, also my sheet fell down. Sorry about that. Let me turn this off. And in the when we transition to the next game, I'll fix that for you. Now, I realize that my partner cannot have two sixes and two wild cards. So,
I just want her to know like what is safe over here to do. And anything we just got is sort of, I think, going to work out fine. We're, there's no possible way we can tempt them to take the deck here. And whatever threes were discarded, whatever threes this each side got were beyond was beyond were beyond our control. So let's just see what goes on with this next hand. And keep moving. All right, so here things are shaping up a little nicely. First of all, I see that Ashri has a stack of sevens, and at 180, that's going to hurt. Okay, so I think I'm going to meld here. another eight. All right, an ace, and then I move another five. No, I thought my partner was holding on to two jacks to try to get the deck which is why I put my stiff jack down. It's much more important, I think, at this stage to be closing some canestas and have a chance to maybe get out of town here. Um, since I didn't think there were enough fives in the deck left for my right-hand opponent to give me one, I just decided to chuck my five and keep another pair of things. So we'll see what happens now. What if we give you a 10 and I throw an 8? I don't want to throw my 7 in. I don't want the deck to be too dirty if my partner were to take it. But in a pinch of Biggie Mills, I'm definitely going to. So now there are three nines, three eights, 
My next discard will be this A, try to keep a pair. I don't unfortunately have any queens. Um, So all the threes are out now, which means I will have the eight, six, five, four, three. I'll have two more turns. I'm going to put my wild cards down. On the next turn, I'll just swap it down. So I put this down in case my partner picks up an ace. It's really important that she closes, be able to close it instantly. Uh, she may not have a wild card. Well, I guess she had plenty of wild cards. Alright, again, another glitch with Canasta Junction, which usually means that most games last forever, or we barely ever finish them. All right, time to start a new round here. Boy, we had wilds. And a couple of fours, as always, start off the discards. So again, we're at 155. This is a hand that will never meld. I'm just guessing what the next cards are that I will draw in order to make a special hand. Um, my only hope here also is that possibly that my partner might meld. And in which case I'm gonna try to keep more pairs of little cards. Oh, I probably should have discarded one of these. No, oh, well. Guess I won't have to worry about it now, but I can still get my special hand and um, we shall keep working on it. Try to redeem myself with my partner's eyes. Come on, baby, give me an ace or a seven here. It's 
So here I have my 4433 set up to go. I'm going to try to take a chance on getting, um, if I draw an ace, I'll get that special hand. All right, king of the four, it doesn't, it's so important to keep track. Now I might have to give this up in hopes of, uh, if I have to give up the ace on the next turn and possibly go for the, uh, say I chose poorly. If I kept the seven instead of the ace, I would have had zip code. I think my partner's sort of counting on me for that. And I'm going to give it one more turn. Come on. Really annoying when you make the poor choice. Oh, fuck, fuck. Well, now I'm never going to get it because I can't afford to get rid of those cards. Never going to get another seven. My partner threw one. Now I've really got to keep this one as if I had split. Dang, I really messed this one up. Well, they're never closing any of those, but we'll be down 1500 Too bad. All right, not a good round. I had such high hopes. If only I had had guts for that. All right, this hand's looking a little better. And I really want to hold up this wild card canasta, which seems cards I pick up as we go along. I need a triple. There's no reason for me to sit around with a couple of uh, danger of three aces in my hand. Uh, seemed a little too dangerous, so I uh, decided to 
drip down here. I even need a triple or I'm going to go wild cards. Let's see what happens. All right. I'll give it one more turn. I'm just trying to decide if I get a triple to do a normal canasta, a normal meld. I really hate melding wild cards with the chance. This, this, this game has so many options, opportunities for special hands. Uh, unlike in my normal games, they play any combination of zip codes, which is really incredibly easy to get. So I decided to stick it out for a little bit and see if I just get a normal weight to meld before I decide to go wild cards. <clears throat> All right, good girl. No, they didn't do any. All right, what am I getting here? Uh, six. That's a couple of fours. It's more chance for a four getting discarded here than anything else. So since my partner already had a big joker here, we have three of the big jokers. Well, I have a stack of aces. I'm going to say it'd be tough for them to meld at 180, but stranger things have happened. And also they can get seven of a kind to splash and go down with no points. So I'm just waiting to see what Biggie does here. I think she's counting. Good for her. Oh, she already discarded a queen. Maybe she knew it was safe. Maybe she has a stack of them. She certainly isn't ready to melt. So I'm going to keep careful track of the three aces that have already been discarded. Um, let's see what my partner does.
Well, somebody must be pairing with no wild card. Good chance that you can get this last eight, although I think everybody must be pairing. Alright, not a high scoring game. Unfortunately, just enough to get us to 155, which we didn't need. And, um, alright, let's see what happens here. So, I've got, I might just turn off this broadcast. I think it's been going on a little bit long. I continue back in at the end of this, as we get closer to the end of this game. 